Let us offer the fruit of our lips. Hear the sacrifice, the fruit of our lips. Are you abiding in the doctrine of Christ? Greetings, friends and brethren. Paul May is with you. I am a Christian. There's no prefix before that. There's no suffix after it. I am not a hyphenated Christian. I'm not a kind of Christian other than the kind you can read about in the Word of God. Jesus himself added me to his one church when I obeyed his one gospel. I sure do love that repeating theme of one throughout the Bible. There's just one church. There's one way to be saved, one God, one mediator between God and men, the man Jesus Christ. Today we're going to look at my original a cappella hymn, Abiding in the Doctrine of Christ. This is how we are Christians. This is how we are the one church of the Bible. Welcome to the fruit of our lips. We're going to take apart this hymn by the authority of Scripture and make sure it adds up. How can we be the church that he bought? He bought us with his blood, the ransom he brought. So we obey the doctrine he taught. It's his authority of that we have not. Are you abiding in the doctrine of Christ? Teaching what he taught and living it out. Abiding in the doctrine of Christ. We know that we belong to God with no doubt. Yes, we can know that we are His own. If we will only spring from seed that is sown. The gospel seed the faithful have known. We get it from the word, the truth there is shown. Are you abiding in the doctrine of Christ? Teaching what he taught and living it out. Abiding in the doctrine of Christ. Christ. We know that we belong to God with no doubt. Have faith in it, O Christian, be brave. Proclaim the word to all the way you can pave. Tell of the one our Savior who gave His precious sinless blood the world He can save. Are you abiding in the doctrine of Christ? Teaching what He taught and living it out. Abiding in the doctrine of Christ. We know that we belong to God with no doubt. There's only one for which he has died. We live as he would have to be the one bride. Stay in the word and hide it inside our hearts as we deny ourselves and our pride. Are you abiding in the doctrine of Christ? Teaching what he taught and living it out. Abiding in the doctrine of Christ. We know that we belong to God with no doubt. I pray that this has built you up, edified you, has you focused on the one who has all authority. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I hope this helps you abide in the doctrine of Christ. Let's take apart these lyrics, look at them in light of the authority of Scripture, God's authority, and make sure then that we are singing actual truth. When we sing, we are worshiping God. We're giving Him the sacrifice, the fruit of our lips. And we need to make sure that we are singing truth because when we sing, we are teaching. Let's look at these lyrics together. How can we be the church that He bought? What well, does the church still stand? Well, Jesus promised it would always stand. It's here. So we've got to figure out how to be that one church that he bought with his own blood. Acts 20 and verse 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. How can we be the church that he bought? He bought us with his blood, the ransom he brought. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, 
but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. That's where I sourced the lyrics for the third line of the first verse. So we obey the doctrine he taught, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. Titus 2.1. It's his authority. Of that, we have not. Nothing. We don't have any authority. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of, that's by the authority of, G, the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. That's Colossians 3.17. It's His authority. Of that we have not. We have none. We have no authority. No man has authority. Only Jesus has authority. No man has authority. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost, 2 Peter 1.21. Are you abiding in the doctrine of Christ? The chorus sings out, teaching what He taught and living it out. Abiding in the doctrine of Christ, we know that we belong to God with no doubt. Let's take apart that. Are you abiding in the doctrine of Christ? Teaching what He taught and living it out. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. James 1.22 teaching what He taught and living it out. Don't just believe without obeying. If you don't obey, you don't actually believe after all. Abiding in the doctrine of Christ, we know that we belong to God with no doubt. And hereby, we do know that we know Him if we keep His commandments. Of course, 2 John 1, 9, He that abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. 2 John 1, 9. He that abides not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. 2 John 1, 9. Yes, we can know that we are His own if we will only spring from seed that is sown. That's the next verse. But he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Matthew thirteen twenty three. The gospel seed, the faithful have known. Yes, we can know that we are His own if we will only spring from seed that is sown. The gospel seed, the faithful have known. We get it from the word. The truth there is shown. Mark four twenty. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth good fruit. Some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. Mark 4.20, sanctify them through the truth. Your word is truth. John 17, 17, such a favorite. The word is truth. The Bible is truth. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 8.32, have faith in it, O Christian, be brave. The next verse, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Get to work, Christian. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Have faith in it, O Christian, be, be brave. Proclaim the word to all the way you can pave. When you proclaim that word to all, 2 Timothy 4, 2 tells you that you can do this. Preach the word, be instant in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Be ye followers of me, as I also am of Christ. 1 Corinthians 11.1. 1. That's how you pave the way, Christian. You show people by living the Christian life. You pave the way for them. If you are living a godly Christian life, others can see your example and they can follow Christ through your, through your example. The way, proclaim the word to all the way you can pave. Tell of the one, one, our Savior who gave his precious sinless blood, the world, he can save. Tell of the one, for there is one God, one mediator between God and men, the man Jesus. 1 Timothy 2, 5. The man Jesus Christ. I love that concept of one. My mind wraps around that so easily. It's all about obedience, submission. God made it mercifully clear. There is one one God, one Jesus, one way, one church, one way of salvation. 
And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the word, but to save the world. That's the final verse, lyric of that verse. The world he can save. There's only one for which he has died. Ephesians 5, 25. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Ephesians 5, 25. We live as he would have to be the one bride. There's only one for which he has died. We live as he would have to be the one bride. We can be that church that he promised is still standing. Matthew 16, 18, right? Good stuff. We live as he would have to be the one bride. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Revelation 21, 2. That's us, Christian, if we abide in the doctrine of Christ. Stay in the word and hide it inside our hearts as we deny ourselves and our pride. Stay in the word. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Psalm 1, 2. Hide it inside our hearts. Thy word have I hidden in my heart. Why? That I might not sin against thee. Keep that word in your heart so you can know whether a behavior is pleasing to God or not. The word is the authority. As we deny ourselves and our pride, then Jesus then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, follow me. Matthew 16, 24. We deny ourselves and our pride. We have no authority. The words of Jesus are going to judge us, John 12, 48. We turn to that authority unfailingly to see if our behavior is is in fact abiding in the doctrine of Christ. Are you abiding in the doctrine of Christ, teaching what he taught and living it out? Abiding in the doctrine of Christ, we know that we belong to God with no doubt. This is how we do it, Christian. We turn to the scriptures. We obey the scriptures. We abide in the doctrine of Christ to be the one bride, the one church of the Bible, the one bride of Christ that is going to enter into glory. I pray that this has been edifying, educational to you perhaps, and that these scriptures will be hidden in your heart so that you too can abide in the doctrine of Christ. Thank you for joining us for another episode of The Fruit of Our Lips. I'm Paul Mays, your host. We will see you next time. Let us offer the fruit of our lips. Hear the sacrifice, the fruit of our lips.